Okay, so now I'm just going to kind of work on one form at a time and get them closer to the background here. Uh, I'm going to use move and move topple elastic, these two moves, to do a lot of the work. And I'm just going to go in here and make sure symmetry's on all the time. Good. And I'm just going to kind of go in here and just do some of those. Try to get this outline as close or silhouette as close as possible to the outline. Now this takes takes some time. You can't just force this right into place. In fact, this is where patience is starting to come in. And trust me, you're going to need the patience pretty soon. Because this is, this is nothing compared to one of the next steps. Not to scare you, but... Just warning you, you should go get a cup of coffee or something that will pacify you enough to have enough tolerance to do this. Okay, I like the topo elastic for this part because it's just giving me a little bit. And I can make the brush a little bit bigger and move these forms way out. Notice I'm grabbing in the mid-range here on the mesh. I'm not grabbing in the middle. Uh, that's important in the fact that, you know, what I'm looking f at as far as the silhouette goes, I'm looking at how it's shaded. And how it's shaded is telling me how deep this is going. Okay, this one's going to be a little trickier. I need, I need to move all this in and need to move it all out. And so I'm just going to constantly do one of these maneuvers. And then jump into the side view and see how I, I did. And you can see right here, it's cut in quite well. Okay, so that means I'm going to have to really do some tomfoolery to, to get it that far in. This might be a thing that I'll have to do without the use of reference. So I might have to move it in and then jump into the side and then just move this out. And I'm only going to use one side. This side right here is what I'm looking at, not this side. So the left-hand side is what I'm looking at. Okay, good. I would say this back part right here needs to slide in just a little bit. I am not worried about temples or any of this stuff. In fact, you know, this is just going to get all smoothed out. I am going to be worried about the jaw, but um, I'll do that here shortly, or right here. Okay, so the bottom jaw needs major adjustment. Okay, major, major adjustment. Uh, so far, in such adjustment that I might have to rely on deformation. And I'm just going to do a size in X only okay so that helps a lot so sometimes just beating it to get to death with the move tool isn't exactly what you want to do
And there we go. Got the two forms. They meet really well. Now I'm just going to turn off that and kind of turn back on this and kind of look at uh, what needs to be kind of fixed up a little bit. And that would be this form right here needs to be fixed up just a little bit in this area. And also, I would say its roundness needs to be fixed up quite a bit. Again, this is going to be a harder thing to do because you only have one frame of reference. So I'm going to line up the front and then rely on my artist's eye to kind of fix up the back. Also going to rely on heavily on smooth. <laughs> Good. Okay, this nose, different story altogether. I'm going to turn on polyframe so I can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm grabbing towards the middle of the form of the skull. As near middle as I can. And then I'm pushing back via the side. This will stick out the middle and bring in the sides. And I'm just keep doing that over and over again until I get a good representation for that nose right here. So back and forth, back and forth. And I only need that dent. Um, other than that, you know, I, I'm going to retopologize it anyway. So. Okay, so I'm just going to shut that off and kind of look at this. Nice. Okay, if I wanted to bring these together, I could, just because I know that that, that bump doesn't, it only occurs right there at the bridge of the nose, and that's it. So this is a, makes a perfect plaster cast for what we need it to do. Okay, so please move on to the next video, and... This was step seven.